The next topic is Puff Daddy, man. We back on this Puff Daddy shit, man. Listen, I told y'all Puff Daddy was going to go away. I told y'all how hard Cassidy had put it down, right? But <laughs> we back on this Puff Daddy shit. He is not going away. They going to pretty much ride this shit out to something else got to happen. Something else major got to happen. Right now, he the goddamn trending topic, and his ass ain't going away. They trying to nail this nigga ass to the cross, man. Right, and 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 that's just what it is. Yeah, I thought I was done talking about it, but we got to talk about it because the goddamn plot thickens on Puff Daddy ass. Yeah, this what happens when you fuck around. The more you fuck around, the more you find out, as they say. So right here, man, we got pictures of um Puff Daddy got a lawsuit. It's another lawsuit. Some of these people are just chasing dollars, trying to get paid. Right, pictures from where a woman claims. Diddy gang raped her at 17 years old in the studio. Now, this woman that held these pictures for all this time to show people that she know Puff and now accusing this nigga of some shit. OMG, woman accuses Diddy and two other men of gang raping her when she was 17. She, she says he made her squeeze his nipples because he couldn't have an orgasm. Now, here come all the bullshit. <laughs> Now, here come the bullshit pulled on. Now, it's a lot of bullshit mixed with some real shit, right? So that's one lawsuit, right, of the four or five that done piled up. But listen, somebody done popped one in, and this one here is another Cassidy. This motherfucker here done popped one in, and it's the same lawyers. Look, look how wicked this shit is. The same lawyers that took Cassidy's case is taking an anonymous woman case who don't want to be revealed. Listen here. And low down dirty nigga puffed and done some shit to a real powerful bitch out here, right? And the bitch want that nigga to pay. And she do not want to be revealed who she is. But the same lawyers who represented Cassidy are now representing her and she want to stay anonymous. She's staying anonymous for a reason. See how that 17 year old, the bitch came and 17, that bitch looking for fame. She ain't looking for no money. She looking for fame. But this bitch right here, this bitch is not playing. This bitch is somebody we know. This bitch got a real reputation, and she want that nigga to pay for when she had to fuck that nigga in the car up under the table to get where she at, right? Straight up. This where the shit started hitting harder, and this is why I'm telling y'all this shit ain't no game for this nigga ass. It say, oops. Hold on. Let me, let me make this big. It say, oops. Same lawyers who represented Cassidy, also represents Diddy's new accuser. Let's read this shit. The same lawyers who represent Cassidy in her quick settlement lawsuit against Diddy have sued him again, this time behalf on a woman who stand anonymous. The complaint has a trigger warning on the front page too, just like Cassidy did. Man, listen, party is over. This is what I'm telling y'all. I'm going to say it again, and I hope I'm saying it clear. Party is over for Diddy, my nigga. Yeah, everything slick don't slide, and everything slide don't slick. The floodgates are open, and your ass is going down. You might not go to jail, but your legacy, your reputation, all the shit you done put down is over with, bro. It is over with for your goddamn ass, man. Not only on top of that. Now, that's the same lawyers. They got paid in a day. And they represent a woman that don't want to say who she is. So, you know, if she don't want no fame, right, she's very powerful. She's a person of substance today that he took advantage of. And she don't want y'all to know that that nigga took advantage of her, right? So, y'all know that's some real shit. On top of that, though. Hold on. On top of that, man, what else this nigga got? This nigga had, nigga, it's, nigga, it's, that nigga, it's blood in the streets. Oh, poor daddy ass, nigga. Yeah, it's, it's goddamn blood in the streets. So he came out and he said something, man. He, 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 he's speaking out, man. Yeah, Diddy is speaking out. Diddy is saying this here. Let's get to what Diddy said, man. Diddy, Diddy make the post. He say, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. 
I did not do any other awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs, right? Same shit R. Kelly put out. They said, boy, this nigga ass in trouble. They is not letting this nigga make it. This shit ain't going nowhere soon, man. That shit always kept catches up with you, man. That shit always catches up with you, man. Imagine if that nigga would have just paid Cassidy to be quiet. <laughs> it's over with for that nigga ass, man. Yeah, I ain't nigga. I ain't. I ain't. Listen, listen. And then y'all already know it's really over with you. It's really over with you. When this nigga here start fucking with you. Now it's time to make money off this nigga. Whether you was touched or not, nigga. Now they here to make money off this nigga ass. These bottles, right? And on this bottle, they be they be regular Moet bottles. On them bottles right there, they been to have something to make the girls be real, real slippery and all of this kind of stuff. So when you get up, they be like, don't touch them bottles right there and only drink them bottles right there. Put Molly all in her champagne. She ain't need no. I took her home and I enjoyed that. She ain't so need no. Knew what the drill was. You just don't mess with them bottles, right? Then all of the girls is in the club after a while. They all running, look, opening up their mouth like little birds. He's running around just popping pills in their mouth. Pop, pill, 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 pill. And then that was the party. I used to, I used to, you know, we used to be on the road. You know, you'd be like, yo, let me go with my puff room, see what they doing. And you knock on puff door. He'd be sitting there damn near butt naked. You ever just had a grown ass man answer his hotel door butt naked and they'd be like, come on in. You'd be like, mm, I'll come back. Bro, put some clothes on. What are you doing? Walk. I don't want to see you naked. See, that's what y'all understand. You don't need to be mad. You need to be motivated. If I got weed, if I can do it, you can do it. Goddamn me, 50 Cent is coming with the goddamn Surviving Puff documentary. 50 Cent coming with the Surviving Puff documentary. It's over with, man. Yeah, Puff. Bye-bye. It's over, man. I told y'all that, man. Out the gate when it first came, man. It's over with, man. He got to ride out, man. Party over, man. He just fuck his reputation and his legacy. His shit was already damaged before Cassidy came out. Us in the hip hop community, we respected Puff. We honored him, but we saw him as a crook. We saw him as a thief. We saw him as a person that took advantage of people. All these artists said this about this nigga. This nigga took advantage of us. This nigga did this. So how much mercy you think he had for a bitch that he stuck his dick in? None whatsoever, nigga. He had no mercy for a bitch he stuck his dick in. And guess what? It's party over, man. Bye-bye, Puff. We gonna holler at you, man. Straight up. Party over, man. Yeah, I don't know how else to put it. I told y'all that when the shit started, right? I told y'all that off the gate that it was over with for that nigga, man. Yeah. Okay. See what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Y'all still talking about that nigga. That nigga there. We ain't fucking with that nigga. Nigga say stop picking on the retarded kids. Yeah, we gon' we gonna pick on the retarded kids, nigga. I'm gonna go to hell. Yeah, that's just what it is. Yeah, shout out to news. I shouted you out, news. Shout out to news for donating. Shout out to Puerto Rican princess for donating. Yeah, you sent it to the right place. Yeah. Shout out to everybody that's in a season of abundance, man. Kudos to you, man, to be able to give back any amount or do anything. Kudos to you, man. Shout out to everybody in a season of abundance, man. It's not, it's hard to get there. So shout out to y'all for being there. And shout out to y'all for giving back, man, to any cause, my cause, anybody cause. Shout out to that. It's puffy every week to December 24th. Everybody got a story to tell. Ain't no doubt about it. Especially when one motherfucker make 30 million off your ass or 50 million off for you. Yeah, everybody got a goddamn story. Come on now, Johnny Gang. Y'all know somebody follow. Miss Mocha Bird, then pull back up. Looking for you early this morning, man. You on the late show. I just heard he hired a personal trainer, and that's who she left him for. She's still with him with a kid. Yeah. Yeah, man, she, yeah, that nigga swooped in and goddamn me took that bitch. Man, I could relate to that. <laughs> I could relate to that. The person who trainer swooped in and took Cassidy, nigga, yeah, straight up. And now, not only did he take Cassidy, 
He also got Cassidy to help him take that money. Not a personal trainer and Cassidy are multi-millionaires. Yeah, nigga, that's some real game, nigga. I know proper instructions when I see him. Yeah, I know proper instructions when I see him, nigga. Yeah, and Cassidy got with some proper instructions, nigga. Proper instructions motivate people. I always tell y'all that. Y'all to catch that on y'all way home. Yeah. Man, we ain't worried about that nigga at all. We about to start seeing some free puffy shirts in a minute. Yeah, he better hope he don't goddamn move to that criminal shit. Right now, they just want the money. He better hope they don't want the time. What's done in the dark will come to the light. Definitely. P. Diddy, P. Daddy, Puffy Dummy. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, yeah. You sure right, Tarzan. That shit is over with, man. Paying his bills. He live in Houston with their daughter. Yeah, he got he to gotta live somewhere like that. Look, motherfucker done gave him up, man. That nigga, nigga live at his daughter's house. Boy, these niggas is cold-blooded, man. It's going to be all kind of Netflix special coming out next year. Yeah, did he got to take that? Take that. Yeah, as he used to say. Uh-oh, look at my first co-host. Look at my first co-host in the goddamn building. Angel, where you been hiding at, girl? Where you been hiding at? Pop on out. Pop on out, God damn it. That nigga been there spilling the beans and rice, yeah. They finna start busting some rock bottles. This shit over with. Yeah. Did it be like the Russell Simmons living in Dubai? Yeah, he got to get out of here, man. It's over with. He definitely talking to Russell right now. He definitely calling Russell. Yeah, he definitely talking to Russell right now. Yeah, ain't no doubt about it. Puff about to move with Russell. Yeah, free free puffy shirt. Sound like a, like a weed shirt. Yeah. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Listen. Old Puff, man. Yeah. I need to goddamn make a shirt of Puff on that bitch, and that bitch need to say party over. Y'all know he like partying. That shit need to say party over. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Yeah. Party over like a motherfucker, Puff, man. We gonna holler at you, man. Hey, it was good while it lasted, Puff, but hey, you gotta go, brother. Yeah, that shit is over with, man. Straight up, that shit over. You gotta go, G. We gonna holler at you. 